It is the slum located at the heart of the fastest growing town in Kenya now, Ongata Rongai. Meet John Nganga Mwaura, a 30-year-old who is undergoing close supervision drug abuse treatment. With both parents dead, John, commonly known as Ngash, has been under his grandparents' care since when he was two. We've stayed for like two years together. Baka till the time I gave birth to him. Hata hiyo mwanamuke ni kawa fukusa hapa kwangu. Mwana ni stabia zago zirikuwa siyo zuri. But when he got to Form 3, Ngash dropped from school and was lured to a romantic relationship by a girl who introduced him to drugs. Ndurya Madrili ya nzi ya wapi? Sunajua tu... Nichapia tu. Oki... Ile mta, ile mta, mta yetu ya pale juu. Najua kuna bizi tulikuwa tulapata naga pale. Coming from a poor background and with limited information, Ngash got his drug addicted girlfriend pregnant. It is then that depression slowly took over and the only friend he could run to was one that knew all areas in Kware where he got introduced to drug abuse. He gives me an account of how he came to staying to his Mabati house in a slum with his expectant girlfriend. Mm. Uh, this is where uh, even before uh, the mo ile wakati alikuwa na akona akona he later would realize that his life had hit rock bottom when he slightly regained his consciousness and discovered that he had been picking up garbage with barriers without his knowledge. At this point, health had deteriorated, with some villagers thinking that he had a number of different diseases, suggestions that a doctor's test proved wrong. Yeah. And the drugs they talk about is siat, jaba, jaba, sunacheki jaba, those are the kind of things we are using. Health, 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 ki health, kali atu kuwa fiti. Screen the, the patient like five tests, eh? mm -hmm. and they are clear, eh? mm -hmm. they are okay. Eh? So I think the issue he has is the, the drugs. Mm -hmm. Which he was using, eh? yeah, that. yeah, at least. I need to injection last week, and then I have a checkup. I am fine, kila kitu iko perfect. I to Shidani. Yeah, and yeah. Those who met the young man in the streets thought he was a madman, but something deeper troubled him. Ngash was going through depression and failing to observe a proper diet did not help matters as he became malnutritioned. Mm. Opium. Hmm? Opium is not to go to my boys. Opium is in weed. Opium is in weed. Opium is in weed. Opium is in weed. Makali. Makali, makali. Jaba, jaba, ibi, tuka, ibi. Uneza ni peleka? Yubis? Normal. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Neza weka uhasa mana watu na sipoa. Just five years ago, he lived in this luxurious building and life seemed all good. A complete different picture. Yeah, that's where we used to stay. Mm-hmm. Na so for that period enye tu kwa tu nakuja apa do that stuffs that the whatever happened. Through the help of good Samaritan and friends as well as support from loving grandmother, Ngash is striving to change the story of his life one day at a time with lessons that he has learned by journeying through tough terrains. His main motivation. Sasa mimi nikawasewa hii mtoto. Wasewa hii mtoto 
Baba yake alikufa. He however still needs a lot of support mainly so as to get to a rehab center in his journey of recovery. What I would prefer if we can get someone for rehabilitation. Eh? You know the drugs were already in the system. Eh? So he can't stay without them eh? unless he go to a rehabilitation center. MCA alikuja kuniona. Na yeye akasema atasaidiana dio apelekwe eh rehapo This is a compound that was once one of the best beautiful compounds in Ongata Rongai Kajiado County but due to drugs hard drugs from the two uh, lovers that is John it's no longer a beautiful home, but a place that has been abandoned just for people to come and loot. For Ebru TV, I'm Ode Francis.